So much going on at the ballpark tonight to celebrate Women's Equality Day here. The walk-up music being all female artists. We also had, before the game today, on the field, the entire team from Massapequa that won the Little League World Series softball championship. It's Carlos Carrasco's job to hold down Otani tonight. It's been a rough go for Carlos. This is a good time for him to try to turn it around. Line and caught at third by Jonathan Arauz, and that's how this game begins. Arauz playing in at the edge of the grass. Shohei Otani still batting until further notice. Otani was on base four times last night. There's one driven to right down the line toward the corner. That is foul. It just hooked foul. Put a little indentation into the can of Coors Light. And we'll get a bill at some point from City Field. Ten feet Lights foul. Lights out. <laughs> that, that Coors is very light now. I mean that's like strawberry hitting the clock <laughs> back in the day. And he smacks this one to the gap in right center field. Nimmo's going to watch it bounce off the wall. Shohei's into second base, a 110 mile an hour, very well struck double with one out. Brandon Drury's hit some home runs here at City Field. Played for the Mets in 2021. That's it hard and that's through a base hit for Drury show he started back towards second but he still had time to recover as he comes to the plate Lindor's relay on the way not in time Brandon Drury socks a base hit through the left center field side and Shohei scores the first run of the game it's one nothing angel and now Chase Silseth will go to work on the mound the Angels win when he pitches they're four and one and his last five starts and in those five starts he has a game of ten strikeouts and one of twelve. Loop to left. Going to be a tough play for Gritchick. That ball not hit very hard, but Gritchick makes a running catch. He chases that one and misses for strike three. That was the good splitter from Silseth to strike out Lindor. Well, he strikes out here. He's on the outside corner for strike three. One, two, three inning for Silseth with a pair of strikeouts. Mickey Moniak leading off the second against Carlos Carrasco. Moniak with a fly ball hit well right field. Back after it is DJ Stewart looking up. It is gone. Mickey Moniak parks one to give the Angels a 2 0 lead. He scored in each of the first two innings against Carlos Carrasco. It's a rocket pass first. That's a fair ball down the line for Cabbage. Bouncing into the right field corner as Cabbage gets to second base and holds there. So Cabbage turns Carrasco to slaw with a one out double. It's this ball well toward right center field. That'll bring home another run. Cabbage around third to score easily. Luis Renjifo an RBI. Three nothing Angels here in the second. Otani doubled and scored in the first inning. He's now four for five with a homer against Carrasco. And Otani with another ball well struck. This one to the right field corner. That's a base hit bouncing to the wall. Renjifo gets to third. He's being waved home. Shohei's around second. He's on his way to third. McNeil's throw. It is not in time. An RBI triple for Shohei Otani. Absolutely amazing. Shohei Otani. With some offense right away. One in the first three already here in the second. Now hard hit ball down the line. Fair for Drury. Otani scores. Drury heads for second base. An RBI double. Five nothing. The Angels have the lead. Three straight two out RBI hits. And that will be it for Carrasco. Well, here's Daniel Vogel back who struck out to end last night's game. Long run here for Mustak is trying to get to this foul ball. He makes the running catch. He has always been fearless, going a long way. He's playing towards the hole at shortstop, covering some ground. Moose runs, makes a nice play. Shohei's already had a double and a triple tonight. It's ball four instead. So Bickford getting booed by his own fan base for putting Shohei aboard here. And so there goes Shohei. I'm going to say he could steal base on Bickford. Sure. You can walk him, but you can't keep him from stealing. Shohei trying to steal third, and he'll get there without a throw. Stolen base number 19 for Shohei Otani. Please use my ligament. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best sign I've ever seen. 2 2 coming. And he struck him out. Bickford fans Drury to keep Otani stranded. Lindor, McNeil, and Alonzo do up. Bottom four. That's poked toward the middle. Base hit. Lindor reaching down and chunking one into center field. And so he's got a 12 game hitting streak and the Mets first hit of the night. Texas Rangers have let it get away. That's lined over short and that's a base hit. Well, Renjifo needed to be about three inches taller on both of those hits. They both go over his glove and the Mets have the first two men on the fourth. So Silseth held the Mets without a hit first time through the order. Now he's given up back to back base hits to start the fourth. Long ball from Alonzo to get the Mets. Right back in the game. And he swings and lines it right to the shortstop. 
this one did not go over Renhifo. It knocked him backwards, but he was able to hang on for the first out. One out. Now Vogelback, who fouled out his first time up. And oh. Lindor started to run, stopped. McNeil didn't What's see it. Now the throw goes to first, and, and the, the ball gets away. And now Lindor is going to try to score. Going to third is McNeil. Meanwhile, Soseth got hit by the throw, and he is in pain, lying on the infield grass. Mets double steal attempt was botched. And for whatever reason, Ohapi threw behind both runners. And then Cabbage trying to get the lead runner Lindor at third threw it across the infield and Silseth just in the way of that throw got hit in the head. Him right near the temple. Right in the temple. Man that was a scary scene. I'm glad to see him up and alert and talking. And we'll head to the exit as you'd expect. And he'll be taken for medical treatment immediately. In 2021 his ERA was under one. That's a looper down the left field line and that's going to fall for a base hit. That'll bring in McNeil. Stewart goes to second, and he's in standing with an RBI double, and it drives in the second run of the inning. Rafael Ortega nubs one down to third, past Mustakas. It spins to Renhifo, can't throw Ortega out. A little Masse shot by Ortega, and he's got an infield hit. That's hit hard toward the whole base hit for Arrows. Ortega goes to second, he'll stop there. So for the second straight inning, the Mets have begun the inning with back to back hits this time from the eight and nine hitter swing and a miss demo tips that into the glove of the catcher oh hoppy good pitch strike three call to Lindor on the inside corner back to back punch outs against the top of the Mets order now McNeil it's a ground ball to second base handled by Brandon Drury and Aaron Loop wiggles out of trouble women's day here at City Field so the Mets batters are all walking out to songs Sung by female artists. Vogelback came out to a thousand miles by Vanessa Carlton. And he smacks one to deep left center field. Back goes Moniak. Back near the wall. It's out of here. Daniel Vogelback goes the other way for his 12th home run and his fifth in the last 13 games. Vogelback has come alive late in the season and trying to get the Mets back later in this game. Five nothing has now become five to three Angels. Starting with Pete Alonzo and the first pitch hits him in the head. Oh boy it's not like there was intent but it hit him right on the helmet knocked the helmet off. Alonzo with some unhappy words for Ohapi and that'll bring everybody out of the dugout. I mean it hit him at some point in the head it's, in the neck it's area. the neck but it's also near the base of his exactly. skull I mean that's that's scary so here's the conversation we're not trying to hit you and if you're Alonzo it's like it's, I don't care if you uh, try to hit me and Pete's going to come out of the game Joe Golia the head athletic trainer is not going to take any chances he can get on base and give Shohei one more at bat lines it fair down the line Renifo does reach base again swinging on the first pitch and doing some damage again. Two out double. So Shohei will bat, but with first base open. And that means Otani's going to get another at bat. And yep, Otani will be intentionally walking. And the blues cascade down. Everybody wanted Otani to hit except the Mets. Drury with two out and two on. And he hits a slow ground ball to third. In comes Ira Ouz to sweep it up. And so the strategy works for the second straight night. And there's two up, two down here in the bottom of the nine. Steves trying to put the Mets away. Dorn pops it up. Brandon Drury steps on the outfield grass, makes the catch, say goodnight to the Mets. The Angels have won the first two games here at City Field. Carlos Estevez.